Hi friends. Let me show you what I did yesterday. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. For a while, I've had uh, not as much use of my trunk space or whatever you call it in a Jeep because I had a few things taking up space. So yesterday I organized things and uh, show you what I got under here. I have one of those elastic tow rope recovery things. That's a tire patch uh, plug kit. Over here is a couple of soft shackles. Um, the thing that goes into the receiver that you hook shackles to. Some chain. And uh, that's another uh, tow strap. But this, I reviewed this a year ago. It's a um, auxiliary battery to jump start your car. It's called the JS3000. And I built a shelf up here to hold it. So that's now where it lives. It can't come out that way and it can't come out that way. The biggest thing that was taking up room was this air compressor, another thing that I reviewed. And I really like it. It like, really pumps up my tires fast when I air down going off road. But it was a big heavy thing and I used to strap it down with this. Um, it was just taking up a lot of room. Sometimes when I go to Walmart, I fill up that whole space with groceries. I had to start, I had to put them in the back seat. Anyway, this is very secure. I've got a brace down here. It's screwed into the window frame there. It's very secure. Can't move, can't bounce, and it's really heavy. Got my trunk back. <sighs> And what's going on today? I have another thing to talk about. It's not going to be a paid review. I bought this with my own hard-earned money. But I'm kind of excited about it. Let's see what I got. But first, I have to see if my audience is ready. I know you're ready, but there's another one. My favorite audience. Are you ready for the show? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to sit in your rocking chair. I'm going to stand on my head. <laughs> uh, we're waiting. <laughs> huh? No. How's the quail wars going? Oh, those winnies are just getting to me. Guineas, you call them? Yeah. They're, hmm. They're what? They're quail. They're guineas to me. Is that the water bottle right there? Yeah. Uh-huh. And I squirted that squirrel. Here's that squirrel. There's actually two of them. And this little bugger has figured it out. Huh. He's got the lid lifted, and he's just chowing down. Hey, squirrel. So we figured out that he was jumping to that cone, so we raised the cone, and uh, he's trying to figure this one out now. A uh, bad picture through my dirty window, but didn't want to miss this. He's having a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, fella. You're going to have to take a different approach. We buy bird food for the feeder in a 40 pound bag, and I keep it, my supply in a bucket with a lid 
and a big brick on top. Don't think the squirrels are strong enough to do this, certainly not the birds. Could have been the skunk, but the birds and the squirrels sure loved it this morning. I never put the lid on because it's hard to get off. Just put a paving stone on the top of it, but I'm defeated. I put my trail camera out there to see who's big enough to actually be tipping it over. And there's the culprit. A fox. And Pepe Le Pew wasn't uh, missing out on the midnight snack either. Look at those eyes shine. Hey, where are you going there, buddy? Fortunately, early this morning, I had a lot of help cleaning up the mess. Yeah? Uh-huh. I squirted that squirrel yesterday, and I squirted him, and he was soaked. The squirrel? Yes. And he would just go under the motorhome and shake himself off, and he didn't care at all. I squirted him right in the face, and he's chewing. So, so, so your, <laughs> your, your new job is bathing squirrels. Bathing squirrels, yeah. Well, speaking of and guineas. Speaking of spray bottle. Oh. Uh -oh. I got something in the UPS delivered today. Yes, you did. Let's go look at it. A couple of years ago, I bought a pressure washer and it worked fine. It was a small one. Uh, it did develop a leak, but it still worked fine. And uh, I gave it to my son when I found this one because I think it's going to be more motorhome sized in terms of a pressure washer. Plus it has another feature that I'm pretty excited about. Let's see what we got. Aha! Uh -huh. A hose. Now, this isn't uh, something they sent me for free, as I said. Um, I bought it. But I can still do a product review, right? <laughs> a couple of nozzles to give you a different spray patterns. Soap dispenser. 400 milliamp, um, 21 volt battery. Battery charger. Uh, the wand. Some kind of a different nozzle. And the Jumu handheld pressure washer. I'm going to put this together and we're going to spray something. Okay. Got a bucket of water. Get that in there. Uh, stay down there. Okay. I already got it primed. A lot of dust on my engine. I've had a lot of pressure washers. Some of them up to 2500 PSI that you could actually inject water into your skin if you hit yourself. This is only 700 PSI, but hey, it's doing the job. One of the reasons I wanted to get this all cleaned up is because back over in there, I'm thinking about installing a miniature diesel heater. I've got one that the Hakalori sent me, and uh, I've got to review it soon. I think I'm going to put it over there and duct it up through the transmission access panels there in my bedroom. Wow, new engine. Okay, bucket of water. I'm sold.
I found it difficult to get this wand in here and get it turned so that it was sealed. And since it was difficult for me, I decided not to take it out. Actually, I tried and it was hard to get out, so I thought maybe there's a different solution. So I drilled a hole in the case right there so that when I put it in the case, it sticks out of the case. That'll be a bit of a pain in the butt, but if it gets to be too much of a pain in the butt, I'll see if I can loosen that up. But in the meantime, that's my improvement. <laughs> Did I buy it again? Yep, I spent more in Sierra Vista washing my car in the last two years than I paid for this. And I can't wait to use it when camping by the water. We like Senator's Wash north of Yuma or Ehrenberg along uh, the Colorado River. Any place I can get a bucket of water or throw the hose into the water. I have a pressure washer. I'm liking that idea. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.